What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Quicksand tapping in for episode 91 of Mindset Monday. Stay tapped in because in today's episode, we're going to break down a chapter in the book, The Obstacle is the Way by Ryan Holiday. And the chapter that we're going to be reading is only one and a half pages. So it's going to be a quick read, but it has a lot of great information that I know you can find value in. So let's tap in. The chapter that we're going to be reading is called Prepare to Start Again. And it starts by saying the great law of nature is that it never stops. There is no end. Just when you think you've successfully navigated one obstacle, another emerges. But that's what keeps life interesting. And as you're starting to see, that's what creates opportunities. And this is so true. In life, you're never going to get to the point where you have no problems going on. You're always going to have a problem that you're going to need to overcome. And when you overcome, you learn. And when you learn, you can take that knowledge to the next obstacle so that way you can quickly accomplish that one as well. Life is a process of breaking through these impediments, a series of fortified lines that we must break through. I like that metaphor, fortified lines. When I think fortified, I think heavily armored steel walls that the only way to break through these walls or these lines in life is to have like great strength, persistence, consistency of trying to get out of there. And you learn these things through these obstacles that are in your way to never give up and to stay determined. You need a great amount of that to get past these lines in life. Each time you will learn something, each time you develop the strength, wisdom and perspective that everyone needs in life. Each time, a little more of the competition falls away until all that is left is you, the best version of you. And that's so true. Developing the strength, wisdom, and perspective. When, when I think of this line, I think of the game of basketball and when I'm coaching it in a one-on-one -on -one session. Let's say, for example, we're specifically working on a player's jump shot and they keep missing short so what i like to do with short meaning it keeps hitting the front of the rim every time they shoot and they're trying to figure it out and i usually let them trying to try to figure that out on their own after a few shots i chime in what i'll say to them is let's go over the problem solution method what is the problem here the problem is that we're missing short we're hitting the front of the rim okay so now do we have the problem? What's the solution to that problem? Typically, the solution to a problem of having a short shot is that you're not using enough power. Okay, so now we have the problem, which is that we're short. The solution is that we need more power. Okay, so how can we get more power? We can get power from our wrist, elbow, and our shoulder when we extend. Okay, so make sure you're doing that. You try that out and you still notice you're a bit short, but it went in. What else can you do to get more power is what I'll ask. You can use your hips and your legs. Make sure you have good amount of balance, a good lift on your shot. Then you'll start to notice after they shoot, okay, they start to see more consistent swishes, all net shots. They see more consistent makes, less short, maybe sometimes even long. Whatever the problem is, there's always a solution. So problem, solution. Learn from each repetition and with each rep, you get to build that confidence up and you get to problem solve and when you problem solve you find success as the haitian proverb puts it behind mountains are more mountains elysium is a myth one does not overcome an obstacle to enter the land of no obstacles going back to the behind mountains are more mountains i love that because i was actually having a conversation with my homie jericho a while back about mountains in in life mountains can be looked at as obstacles and there's always an obstacle or mountain that we must climb and when you climb up there's blood sweat and tears involved right you don't want to climb up but you you're determined and you have the will to be successful and to be who you're supposed to be and so you fight to get to the top and once you get to the top you're excited you're happy a lot of emotions but then you look into the distance couple hundred meters out and you notice that there's another mountain two to five times bigger than the one that you just climbed then you get overwhelmed you're shocked and you're like why did i even do this in the first place 
there's always going to be another mountain that's bigger but the important thing is that you must appreciate the journey that it took for you to get to the top of the current mountain that you're on show appreciation to yourself show love to yourself that you were able to do it you did not quit even when you felt like giving up even when you didn't want to climb the mountain you did it anyway and now you're reflecting you're happy with the results you are excited that you can take all the lessons you learn from this climb and bring it to that new mountain so now when you get over there you're like oh i've already done this before i'm halfway up this one okay now there's a new obstacle that i never learned let's learn this lesson appreciate the top of that mountain for a little bit reflect embrace it and then move on otherwise you know if you just move on to that next mountain you're going to be overwhelmed exhausted you won't have time to rest your mind and your body and then you're going to break down and fall down that new mountain appreciate the journey that it took to get to the top of the current one on the contrary the more you accomplish the more things will stand in your way there are always more obstacles and bigger challenges you're always going to be fighting uphill so get used to it and train accordingly knowing that life is a marathon and not a sprint is important conserve your energy and understand that each battle is only one of many and that you can use it to make the next one easier more important you must keep them all in real perspective life is a marathon not a sprint again conserve your energy appreciate where you are currently in the the battles that you just went through and use all that knowledge to move on to the next one because we all want it now we all want success we all want happiness we all want friends we all want money we all want cars we all want it right now in the moment but you had to understand you have to work for that you have to go through hardships of failures you have to go through moments of you wanting to give up and then you fight through and get through to the top that's you need all of that Passing one obstacle simply says you're worthy of more. The world seems to keep throwing them at you once it knows that you can take it. Which is good because we get better with every attempt. And that's actually a hard statement to, to realize and actualize. You're going to keep getting problems thrown at you, but understand that it's building your character. It's building your life and the story of your life because we all when we watch a movie or you read a book you want excitement you want ups and downs you don't want just the perfect fit the entire time that's where going back to this one right here it says elysium is a myth elysium is like imagination in our mind of a perfect place that's what elysium is and that does not exist you'll never find that there's always going to be bad things and problems that we have to deal with you get better with every attempt never rattled never frantic always hustling and acting with creativity never anything but deliberate you must be deliberate about every choice that you make never attempting to do the impossible but everything up to that line simply flipping the obstacles that life throws at you by improving in spite of them because of them and therefore no longer afraid but excited cheerful and eagerly anticipating the next round and that's the end of that chapter prepare to start again always prepare for the next issue but appreciate the issues that you currently were able to overcome and that's a wrap for this video thank you all for watching i truly appreciate you all if you like this video and want to see more i have a playlist up above of 90 other mindset videos for you to tap into so go and check those out but for now drop a like and comment on this video and as always if you found any type of value within the context of this video share it with someone who you know can benefit i want to grow the channel and i want to grow the brand the quicksand mindset the goal behind the brand is to impact at least one person's life every single day. So by you sharing it, there's a chance that it can reach hundreds of other people who can also benefit and then we're all good in the long run. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next episode. Tap out.